Turkey Day is over, Black Friday's here, but I know you still got a lot of food left. Welcome to Flagrantly Frank Cuisine. I am your host, Kyle L. This is the Thanksgiving Leftovers episode. I got a recipe for you to reinvent your Thanksgiving leftovers. Monte Cristo sandwich, cranberry sauce, and a beautiful sweet potato tater tot. Go ahead and download this recipe. Check out what we have in store for you guys. Oh yeah. FFC sweet potato tater tots. This is what we did for them. So I had some sweet potatoes. We parboiled them in some salted water for about 20, 30 minutes. Then after that, got a grater out, grated them down, and this is what you got. So we're gonna add to this a little bit of salt, some fresh cracked black pepper, a little bit of cinnamon, and some brown sugar. And these are just not for Thanksgiving leftovers. You can do these pretty much anytime you feel like it. Sweet potato tater tots are real cool to do in the oven. 400 degree oven, about 30, 40 minutes. Nice. So we're gonna mash this all together. So now we have our tater tot. We're gonna take it and roll it around in this mixture of brown sugar and panko breadcrumbs. A little salt and white peppers in here too. It's gonna to be a nice crunch. And voila. So now I'm gonna take these, put them on a parchment sheet, finish banging out the rest of these. Here we go. So now they're rolled up, ready to go. We have an oven preheated at 400 degrees. About 35 to 40 minutes, they should be done, all right? Just make sure you hit them with a little bit of a toothpick to make sure that they're nice and firm, okay? Let's go. Now it's time to make these Monte Cristo sandwiches. And instead of using French toast as the bread, we're gonna make a pumpkin pie French toast. So let's start on the batter. Here we go. Three eggs. I'm gonna add about a half a cup to a cup of this in here. Shout out to local Michigan farms. A little bit of salt. Some pumpkin spice. Gonna add a touch more cinnamon. Some vanilla extract. And our star of this Pumpkin puree. Now, if you actually have some leftover pumpkin pie, that's great to use here too. You just want to use about a cup of it, no more than that. I'm using about a half a cup in this one. Let's kind of get it in there and whisk it together until everything's combined. I'm gonna add some brown sugar. Because normally you have a lot of brown sugar left around this time. You can use cane sugar, you can use raw sugar as well too also works if you don't have pumpkin puree if you have some leftover pumpkin pie left take about one slice of it or maybe just a scoop of it and then put it right inside of your french toast batter same thing you got something really cool going on okay now that our batter's done let's assemble our sandwiches so we have here some leftover turkey breast meat but i also went to the deli a little bit ahead of time and got some turkey pastrami use a brand that you like it doesn't matter what kind but this is what we're going to do to make these beautiful sandwiches so I have some day-old challah bread. Challah bread is very buttery, so is brioche bread. They're two of my favorite ones to use to make French toast too. So first, let's lay a little bit of mayo down here. Store-bought mayo is fine, whatever one you like. A little leftover cranberry on the other side. Stack your meats. Pastrami. Some turkey. And do the same thing on the other side of bread too. And now the cheese I'm using is provolone cheese. Really nice sharp flavor to it. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of this and some buffalo mozzarella on there too. You can use Gruyere cheese, you can use Swiss, pretty much any cheese that you really like. Take your sandwich and we're going to dip it in our batter. Just 10 seconds on one side, you want to soak it just so you get that flavor in there. And then do the other side. And into the hot butter we go. 
We're gonna go three to four minutes on each side. Tater, tater. Now these you want to smash down evenly so you can get that nice crispy glued together feeling of the bread and the meat and the cheese all becoming one. So there you have it folks, a beautiful Monte Cristo sandwich with sweet potato tater tots baked in the oven. I'd like to thank you for watching the episode and checking out Flagrantly Fragrant Cuisine. We have much more stuff coming in store for you for like gift cards, more contests. Check out, click, like, comment, subscribe, and check out the Facebook page as well. Happy holidays folks. Peace.